All right, so um, in this video, we're going to be installing this Corsair water cooler on the RTX 3080 Founders Edition. That's upside down. There's a bunch of tools here. I don't want to waste any time, so we'll just put some text in the video to explain which tools are required. Um, let's get started. So uh, the first thing we have to do is uh, remove this little Y piece on here. I'm just going to do a little close up here to show you uh, these, little, these little gaps, that one. Um, that one, and that one, we're trying to remove that Y piece. So I figured it out. What I'm supposed to be doing is putting my finger under here to lift that side first. There we go. Lift, lift. There we go. So this piece has been removed. Um, looks nice. Now we're going to remove the four little Phillips screws here. Um, let's have a quick look here. Uh, another close-up just to show you where they are. One, two, three, four. We're going to uh, take my little Phillips screwdriver here and hopefully this fits because if it doesn't, I'll look very foolish. Well, good news. It's the right one. Not, um... Four screws. All right, now the next piece here, there are these little um, screw covers. Uh, and um, people say you can take it off with tape. Other people say you can take it off with magnets. Again, let's have a quick close up here. Um, so we have these little, these pieces. That's one, two, three, and four. So um, we are going to I'm going to try tape for a couple. I'm going to try magnets for others. Apparently, the original instructions, uh, I think Gamer Nexus had a video about this where maybe it was Gamer Nexus, I don't remember. They were like, use tape, uh, use glue. Glue sticks to those things. And then uh, if you got the glue in the cracks, you had a problem. So this painter's tape is not sticky enough. I think you need stickier tape. Oh, no, I got one off. Uh, I was able to get that off with just painter's tape, just kind of pressing it onto the thing, pulling it. They do come off. Supposedly, they're mag held by as magnets. Going to try a neodymium magnet that I have here to see if it really does pull off the other one. That would be fun. This is much better than trying to use glue, waiting for the glue to dry, and then finding out that you have glued the cracks and your thing will not open. Now there's tiny little Torx screws there. I think they're Torx 5. Yeah, yes. Great. It's not grabbing on these heads. On two of these. Alright, so some of these torque screws were, I don't know, the lock type was a little bit tight. And uh, I don't know if maybe my Torx heads are maybe lower quality. They didn't quite fit. So two of them I had trouble getting out. Um, I just ended up forcing them out with tiny flat heads um, because the, my little Torx 5 didn't fit properly. Anyways, now that those four screws are out, uh, we are going to remove this black plate carefully. I believe we just have to pry it up here. And uh, this whole piece here, which is now loose, should just come off. So here we go. There we go. You can see there's some um, thermal tape uh, up here, um, but that is that step. Uh, now we can remove these leaf springs. So yes, T6 is what we're going to use. Just don't want to be indecisive. These ones will be more difficult to take out if I if my heads don't if my if it doesn't fit. So go. Good, no problem here. It's good. Came nice and. Um, good uh, connection, good fit. And uh, I think that's loose. We can take that off now. Just carefully remove it here. Mm -hmm. Let's put that in there for now. Uh, okay. Well, I believe the next step is that we have to be careful and remove a bunch of these little cables. So. Uh, we're going to go back to the GoPro for some uh, close-ups here. 
we have a cable right here where I believe we need to lift the side. We have this cable also where we have to move this, slide this metal piece over and lift up, oh sorry, to this side and lift up the cable. Finally we have that little cable over there where we will again be lifting a little flap. Recommend that we remove the um, this side first. So I'm going to remove that now. Again, it's, uh, oh this is the Torx 8. So I need to find my Torx 8, just that one. And we can remove this, these four screws here on the back. Just show them to you quickly. I mean, it's pretty obvious that there are four screws here on the back, um, all around here. We're going to remove those so that this metal piece can come off. Um, do that now. Uh, that's removed. Let's do these cables. So. This little, these little black pieces, you flip them up, they're actually flush when you start. They kind of look like this. And you just, you get underneath them. Oops. See how it's flush? You get underneath the black piece. And you flip it up. I guess that loosens the cable. Um, apparently. And for this metal piece here, we want to slide it over. Let's slid that already. I'll put it back so we can do it again. Um, Originally, it looks like this, and so we just take this and we slide this piece out, just like so, and now it's free. Oops. Okay, and now I think this cable comes straight up. Um, we're going to try to pull that out in a second. Okay, so um, this cable lifts out. Once you've lifted those black pieces, you just kind of slide the ribbons away. Um, just kind of pull them out from where they're held in. Um, and then I think this is the last piece I can start trying to remove the card. Can I get this? Oh, there. That was, uh, there we go. Um, and that's, there you have it. I've removed the card from, uh, from the cooler. Um, now I have a card. Um, yeah, we can now start looking at installing um, uh, the water block. So we are going to clean off this thermal paste. Um, I have some cleaning solution that I had for a long time that was used for changing um, coolers on PCs, CPUs in the past. I'm going to drip some of this on here, just kind of clean that off. Um, it looks pretty good to me. Um, so the order of installation is, this is the block. It's actually quite short. You can see there's a lot of extra space in the box. It comes to here because the RTX 3080 is uh, much shorter than, um, Previous generation cards, I guess. Seems like it is. Um, let's take this these cables out. So, um, I was confused at first when I first unboxed this. I wasn't sure if these thermal pads had like paper on them, and I actually tried to pick at the corner of one of them, and I'm pretty sure I was not supposed to do that because it doesn't feel like it's paper. So one of the corners of my thermal pads is slightly damaged, but over here, but I don't think that's going to be a serious issue. We do have to remove this tray um, so that we can place the card onto it. All right, so we're gonna remove the plastic piece here that protects the, the new thermal paste. Then we are going to line up the holes and drop the card into place. Have it pressed into all the right places. Uh, so we are going to put this. Looks like. To me, all the holes appear to line up. So we just put this where it needs to go. And simply. That looks right to me. Like this. No pads.
Most of it doesn't touch. All right, and then I guess all the screws are the same. So put all the screws on. We do have to hang it over the side. Important tip here is that um, this does have to go in before you um, uh, screw the last screws in. So I just want to move this over to the side to allow this piece to slide in here. Um, Quite small now. That's a. Oops. There you have it. Um, it's much smaller than it was when I compared the, the sizes. I mean, that's quite a large difference in size of the card, but a, the version is complete.